If you're somebody who's curious about starting psychiatric medications for the first time, you might be wondering, how long do they take to work? Or if you're someone who's new to taking psychiatric medications, you might be wondering, how come they're not starting to work yet? Welcome to the first Psych Med Facts. Today we're going to talk about how long it takes for psych medications to start to work. I'm Dr. Mike from Level Up Mental Health. Make sure that you like this video and subscribe for more videos just like this. So first of all, our answer is going to vary on a few different things. What target symptom are we treating? Second of all, what is your own particular physiology like? And third of all, what type of medication are we using to treat your symptoms? So there are a few medications that we use in our psychiatric toolbox that can be effective almost immediately. When we're treating things like ADHD with stimulants, we can get an effect almost immediately. On the other hand, we have a lot of medications that we use that take actually a longer period of time. When we're treating more common psychiatric illnesses such as depression or anxiety, we tend to use medications that may take a period of a few weeks to even a few months. There are a few reasons why these medications take longer to work. First of all, these medications can have side effects that's important to know and have a discussion with your doctor about that. In order to minimize this risk, we as psychiatrists tend to take a low and slow approach. That means we'll start you at a very low dose that we don't actually expect to cause any improvement in your symptoms. However, over the course of several weeks to several months, we look to see a progressive improvement in your symptoms with the target to be complete resolution of your symptoms as much as possible. Now, it will take some time for your body to adapt to a lot of these mild side effects, while we're spending a few weeks increasing the medication, we look out for intolerable side effects. So before starting any medication for psychiatric illness, it's important to have a discussion about the risks, benefits, side effects, and alternatives to any medication that your doctor may be starting you on. You and your doctor should have an open discussion about a favorable risk to benefit ratio. As a new medication is titrated or increased in your body over a period of weeks, this gives your body and your brain time to start to incorporate the medication and get used to it. We expect that those mild side effects start to fade away and you start to get more of a therapeutic value out of the medication. So, how long does it take for these medications to start to work? For some people, it may only take about two weeks for medications to start to work. For most people, it will take closer to a month to six weeks for these medications to start to work. So during that time, your doctor will be most likely increasing the medication over time and observing for changes in your mood, anxiety, and, or whatever your target symptom is. So what if your doctor has you on the highest FDA approved dose for that medication and it's been six weeks or eight weeks and you haven't gotten better? Well, there's a few things that they can do. Number one, they can start to augment the medication with an additional medication. Number two, they can switch to another medication within the same class, say if you're on, if you're on Prozac, going to something like Zoloft, or switching from uh, a class like an SSRI class to something like an SNRI, so going up in our treatment algorithm. The important thing to know is that if you failed one medication, you know, it's not completely uncommon for that to happen, and that um, if you stick with it, we will find the right medication for you. Now, if you'd like, I can talk about additional treatments besides medications or what happens when you failed several medications uh, if you'd like me to. So make sure that you leave a comment down below if you'd like to see that in the future. The most important thing though is to make sure that you have a good open discussion with your psychiatrist or, or if you're seeing a primary care doctor about the risks, benefits, side effects, and alternatives to any of these medications because they do have side effects but when we're thinking about the side effects that it could cause versus the effect that something like severe anxiety or depression are having on you, it's important to kind of weigh the risks and the benefits to that so that way you can make an informed decision about your own health care and your own body, okay? When we use psychiatric medications, we're often taking advantage of something known as neuroplasticity in the brain. What neuroplasticity is, is your brain's ability to adapt and change uh, to either new stimuli or in our case, new medications in order to find a new set point or baseline. Hopefully, if you're someone who's depressed and anxious, that means someone who's less depressed and less anxious, hopefully with restored function. Okay, if you'd like to ask any other questions about psychiatric medications, have me make a video about uh, psych med FAQ. Make sure that you leave a comment down below and make sure that you subscribe to this channel and like this video. It helps me out a ton. 
If you'd like to learn more, make sure that you go to levelupmentalhealth.com or follow me on Instagram at levelupmentalhealth. Until next time, I'm Dr. Mike. Have a good day.